And crews are working to find one missing construction worker and one person who has been confirmed dead inside the New Orleans Hotel, which toppled over this weekend. This as they recovered another fatality on Sunday. As crews conduct the search, authorities say they remain concerned about stability and safety on the construction site. Rob Dawson has details. First responders searching for one worker inside the partially collapsed Hard Rock Hotel. Officials not saying if the person is still alive after Saturday's incident, but search crews are calling their efforts a search and rescue operation until the missing person is located. Authorities saying during this mission, safety is their number one priority. Our goal here is to uh, continue to make the scene safe so we can uh, continue uh, getting into this building deeper and deeper. Uh, for rescue purposes. On Sunday, crews assembled another massive crane to help remove some of the fallen debris and stabilize the scene. Despite the danger, first responders and rescue dogs have been risking their lives to get to people and were able to recover the body of one of the two confirmed dead from the rubble. We have removed uh, one body uh, from the site and has transported that individual to our coroner's office, at which time they will be identified. On Saturday morning, the upper six to eight floors of the Hard Rock Hotel, being built on the border of the historic French Quarter, suddenly came crashing down, sending a large cloud of dust and debris into the air. More than 100 workers were at the construction site at the time. 30 were taken to the hospital. As of Sunday night, all but one were treated and released. The exception, a man who had to undergo surgery on his leg. There's still no word on what caused the planned 18-story, 350-room hotel to collapse. An investigation into the incident is underway. Rob Dawson, Fox News.